There are tons of note-taking and productivity solutions that help us better organize our business and busy personal lives. However, did you know that Google offers a free note-taking tool that integrates directly with your other favorite Google apps called Google Keep? And today, I'm excited to dive in and share everything that you need to know to get the most out of Google Keep for personal and business use. Okay, so before we go ahead and get started with Google Keep, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out of the way, let's go ahead and get you set up and running with Google Keep. Okay, so to arrive at Google Keep, simply head over to your browser and type in keep.google.com and that's going to take you here. Now, as I mentioned, Google Keep is an integrated list and note taking app for Google users. And something that I love about Google Keep is you can seamlessly utilize this app directly inside your other favorite Google apps. And today we're going to cover the web version of Google Keep as well as the mobile app and how you can use Google Keep with other Google applications. Now, first things first, in order to access Google Keep, you do need a free or paid Google account. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive into the web version. Here you can see I have the option to enable the dark theme or I can simply navigate up to settings over here and then click on enable dark theme and that's going to enable the dark theme here. I'm going to go ahead and disable the dark theme. And this is based on your own personal preference and how you like to view your notes. Now we can quickly create our first note by navigating up to take a note. And this could be anything from a personal or a business related note. And as you can see, I've added a quick note. Now I just want to add a title. Then if we navigate down here, you can see I can further customize this note. If we navigate over to remind me and click here, I can choose to add a reminder if I like for this specific note. Then if we navigate across, what we can do is add collaborators and you can collaborate in real time with other users, similar to how you collaborate with other users in real time across your other Google apps. So all you need to do is click here and then add the person or email you want to share this note with. I'm gonna go ahead and click on cancel and then navigate across to background options. Here I can add a background option if I like for this specific note. And as you can see, we have these different colors or we have themes down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this color and then remove the theme down here and I'm happy to identify this note with this sage color. Then if we navigate across, we can add an image if we like. I'm just gonna go ahead and add my website logo. And here it is. And as you can see, I've added that image. I'm gonna go ahead and actually delete that image for now. And then navigate back up to this post and I have the option to archive. Then I have these three dots. If I click on more, I can delete the note, add a label. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a label. This is going to be called my website. And all notes associated to my website, I'm gonna add this label. So I'm gonna come down and click on create. And as you can see, the label has been added. Now next to that, if I click on more again, and if we navigate down, we can add a drawing, make a copy, show checkboxes, and copy to Google Docs. And then we can also undo and redo changes. Okay, so I'm happy with that for now. I'm gonna go ahead and click on close. And as you can see, we have our first note. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add one more note. To do that, I can navigate up here and add a new list, new note with drawing, or new note with image. For example, if I click on new note with drawing, and this is where we can simply create written notes. I'm just gonna go ahead and add this. And if we navigate up to the top, we have these other formatting options. We can change the size of the pen or pencil icon that we're using, and we can also clear the image. However, I'm happy with this for now, so I'm gonna navigate back. We can come down and add a title, and then we can add the text note down here. And then again, we have these options down here that we just went through. I'm just gonna go ahead and change the background. I'm gonna use this color over here, and then click on close. Now, just quickly before I get back to this video, I just wanna mention my all-in-one digital playbook that you guys might be interested in called Go Digital Now, the ultimate small business playbook. This dynamic book took me a year to create and is ideal for small business owners, new and existing, that are looking for a clear-cut digital roadmap for setting up the right tools, systems, activities, and strategies so that you can absolutely dominate online. I will add a link in the description below this video if you want to learn more about Go Digital now. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get back to this video. So as you can see, we now have two notes. Now, if I navigate up here, I can also add a note with image. 
add a new note with drawing which we just did and we can also create a new list you can also turn any of your notes into a list so for example if i click over here and add a title then come down and add my note then i can come across to these three dots and then click on show checkbox i'm going to go ahead and add other items and as you can see i now have a list i'm going to change the color for this and I also want to set a reminder. I can pick a date and time, but for now, I'm just gonna to select tomorrow at 8 a.m. Then I can choose to pin these notes if I like. I'm gonna go ahead and pin this note and then click on close. Now, if I navigate up to the top, I can change the layout of my notes if I like. And then over on the left-hand side, I can view my reminders, notes, buy labels. Then I can also edit labels, view my archives, and then deleted notes. Okay, so how does Google Keep work with other Google applications? What I'm gonna do is quickly head over to my Google Drive. Okay, so as you can see, I've arrived inside my Google Drive. Now, if I navigate over to the right-hand side, you'll notice this Get Add-ons. And if you cannot see this Keep icon here, then you can go ahead, click down here, simply search and locate the Keep app. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is exit out of this because as you can see, I have the keep icon here. If I click here, that's gonna generate my notes and reminders over on the right hand side. Now I can navigate up here and search for specific notes. I can also open this note app or interface in a new tab. Then down here, I can simply create a new note and then interact with the notes I have on the right hand side. Now with this keep add-on, you can locate and seamlessly interact with your notes. For example, I'm gonna navigate over to a Google Doc and within my Google Doc, all I need to do is navigate down to expand the side panel. And as you can see, I can locate my notes up here, my Google Keep. And like I mentioned, you can easily access your notes across all your different Google apps. Okay, so now what we wanna do is dive into the Google Keep app on mobile. So as you can see, I've already gone ahead and downloaded Google Keep on my iPhone. Let's go ahead and open it. And here we have my notes and reminders that I created on the web version. Now, if you can't find your notes, that might mean you're using a different Google account. So to sync your Google Keep note and reminders, make sure that you have the right Google account selected. Now, similar to the web app, we can simply create notes by clicking this add button and we can create our notes. Now heading back, if we navigate down to the bottom left-hand corner, we can create a list note if we like. And then we can also draw again, like we showed on the desktop version. Here we can simply draw notes. If I navigate back, we can also create a voice memo. So for example, if I click here, you'll notice that Google will appear and you can simply speak your notes and Google will generate your note in text and a voice memo. So this is great when you're on the go. Now the voice memo isn't very high quality, but it's great that it adds a text note as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and head back. Then next to the voice memo, we can add images or take photos to add to our notes. Now, if I click on the menu icon, and similar to the web version that I just showed you, you can manage your notes, reminders, you can manage your different labels, you can create new labels, you can manage your archive and bin. And then we have settings down here. If we click on settings, we have these different display options. We can add new items to the bottom, we can enable that or disable. We can also move ticked items to the bottom and we can display rich link previews. Again, this is all based on your personal preferences. Again, we can change the way that we view our notes on mobile with these two different layout options. However, that is everything I wanted to cover in this Google Keep tutorial, helping you use the web version of Google Keep as well as the mobile app and how you can seamlessly add notes and reminders through your different Google apps. And there we have it guys, that is it for this essential guide to getting started with Google Keep. Now, if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.